Hi everyone, Lake Na here and welcome to my channel. You must be wondering why I'm showing you this old dusty storage box. Well, I was clearing out few things this weekend and thought I would film some of the art and craft things I've been holding for years. I'm not entirely sure what's in this box, so let's dig in. Whoa, so as you can see I do have loads of things in here and this is just one of the boxes that I have. The first thing I can see is a mixed media paper, which I've never thought of using. Second thing I have in here, which is really cute and I quite, I would quite like to use it again, and it's this stamp set from Lawn Fawn. It would be fun to experiment with this again. Gonna have some random things in here that you get in the hamper boxes. For some reason, I've been saving them. Ooh, I have a stencil set here, which is once again from either Lawn Fawn or Hades Walk. Looks like I have used it quite a few times. It'll be fun to use it again. I think I have is some acrylic paints. Well, some random pages, exercise book. Why it's here? Oh, this is something I did years and years ago. So I just used a small canvas of this size, drawn a tree. And then using a knife, I cut a few things out and just painted it black. I think it looks quite nice. I'm not sure why I left it in here. I did these years ago as well. I should really start putting date on these. Some Faber Castell oil pastels. I don't even think I've ever used these before. No, I haven't. I have some canvas pads here. Looks like I started painting something. I never finished it. Ink. I painted these when we were holidaying in the Lake District. I think these are all from there. Looks like I attempted to draw a rose. Oh. This is one of the watercolours. The Thatch Cottage. Random thing. I think you would use like a foliage. You know what I was thinking when I bought this stamp set. I think I got this from work. I absolutely love these. These are little um, scratch this set. And I have a bottle of glossy accent and it's from the Ranger set. So ink pad, black ink pad. I got these when I got the stamp set. Some craft stickers, some glass paint colours. Oh, it'll be fun to use this again. I need to do more of this. Random brushes. Quite, quite like to use these. You can dip these in um, yeah. acrylic paint and it gives a really good texture. Oh. And this is just a clear block. It's helpful when you have, when you're using the stamps. I think this was the free stuff I got for buying some of the art stuff. Don't think I've ever used it. Nope. <laughs> Need to give this a try. A little sewing kit. Ooh. Cardstock book. Some lovely colours. Lovely patterns. I tend to buy these things and then I feel they're too pretty for me to do anything with them. <laughs> Which defeats the purpose, I know. This is something I tried years ago with the stamp set that I had. I'll show you. The stamp set. I might try and redo it so you can see how I made these. They're really nice. I think I saw Vicky, who I've been following for years on YouTube, and she used this stamp set to create these air balloons. And I absolutely loved how she made them, so I tried it. And it turned out really well. I might make a video on that. This was a fun thing to do. I used 
one of these stencils and some white acrylic color to give me this background. I think it looks quite nice. And I have some washi tapes. More art tools as if I don't have enough. Stamps. I think once again these are from works. Soft pastels. Looks like I've used it quite a bit. <laughs> I'm sure I can do more. Some embellishments. I've got a few of these paints here. I think they are from Tim Holtz range and it's the distress paint. I think I had ordered something else and they sent me the wrong one. Um, I can't remember what online shop I used to buy these. And they never replaced it. So I'm stuck with these and I don't think I've used them. I've tried the colors on as you can see here. But I've never actually tried the paint. So I might try them and we'll, we'll see what we can do with these. Then I have some transferable rubbons. I don't think I've used this much. And some nice big shells. I'm obsessed with nautical stuff. Some more embellishments. These are wooden. And I think they say joy. I might try and use them on art journals. Some PVA glue. Ooh, some drawing gum. I think it's still alive. You can still use it, hopefully. And I've got some cheap fine line pens. I think I bought these from Works, I would think. Some little cutters. I think I used one of these when I made this. So hopefully I'll make one of these again. This is quite a cool thing. I think I have two of these there. And I think they're both matte medium. It's once again from the Ranger. And what it does, it gives you, if you have a porous surface like a paper, and if you want to make it non-porous to use different mediums, like your alcohol ink, you, you can use these medium to make your surface non-porous they're just little beads I'm not sure why I bought them once again <laughs> fun to make something with these quite like them some random things some acrylic paint black and I've got white gesso I think I used white gesso with the stencil to make this I think it turned out quite right. Then I have a canvas board, which is a flat board. I'll try and do something with this. Oh, <laughs> a random piece of cloth. I'm not sure where I bought it from. I must have thought of something to make from this when I bought it. It looks really nice. I love the pattern just under the board. Some craft sheets as you can see and some tags. Some white card sheets. More of the blades. Black ink liner that you would use when you're using your um, glass paint. So you would make an outline with this and fill it in with the colors in here. And then we've got a cutting mat. Not sure why it's in the storage and not on my craft desk. Not sure. A Zentangle book. Everyone needs a little bit of art therapy. Some nice patterns in here. And then I've got Ear of the Doodle book. One of my friends had given me this as a present on my birthday. It's a really good thing to have to keep your creative juices flowing. Star shaped embellishment. There's a keychain. One of my friends who had given me this. I love elephants. Small, double-sided foam. They're already cut for you, they're in little blocks. And then I have some tissue paper. Oh yeah, got it from Paper Chase. The big sized card. 
So that's one box done. And I've got a few more to go. I won't be filming them all as you will get bored. <laughs> so object of this video is to encourage myself to make full use of the art and craft things I have at home before I go out and buy more, even though it's tempting. The upcoming videos will be based on me trying to use the products I have in the storage boxes. I hope this video has encouraged you to dig out your old art and craft supplies. If, if it has, then leave a comment below and give this video a big thumbs up. Remember to subscribe and press the bell icon so you don't miss my upcoming videos as I upload 5 times a week. So until next time, keep experimenting with your own art style and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!